Hi folks, Kevin here. Well, it's August 23rd, 2017, and previously, I think it was August 7th, a couple weeks ago, I posted a video on the keyhole garden failure, and I'll post a link to that up here in the corner. Uh, today, I thought I'd just go ahead and, and update you. I did get all of the rocks. There is the dog run behind me. I'll turn the camera around. So here's the Harbor Freight greenhouse, the fig trees, and the little... Uh, protected area and we're in the dog run area here and this was all one large keyhole garden over here a central one going across here and then one down there in the corner I went ahead and used bumblebee the mini excavator to go ahead and uh, remove all of the large boulders which I've uh, used and stored some I've collected many of the flat rocks uh, larger flat rocks and many of the smaller flat rocks for uh, walk over here for a second using them for uh, you know creating a, a more efficient spillway for pond two so here are many of the flat rocks that I'll be using for that when I get the chance so all of the very large rocks that were uh, anchoring the whole keyhole uh, garden here. I used many of them for supporting a, um, retaining the soil from uh, weeping into a pond three uh, soil collection canal system. I put in another soil collecting canal system and that's adjacent to another shade garden, which I'll show in future videos. Uh, it's not to the point yet where I want it. Yesterday we did get uh, about one and three quarter inches of rain. I did get some clover, some white clover seed down in here. So hopefully that'll take off. I'll keep that watered. I've also stored some of the larger boulders up in my boulder pile up by Pond 2 for future projects. There's a few projects I have planned for those. Many of the intermediate and irregular rocks, even though I love them and wish I still had more of them, uh, I ended up needing more earth. Uh, so I went ahead in an area where, uh, where I'm going to be extending a fence line or around the pr property line uh, in the future. I decided to bury those rocks and gather more sandy soil because that's a sandy area. And I used a lot of that soil for uh, reinforcing the spillway on Pond 2, making it a little bit easier for me to manage the, uh, the growth, the grasses that grow up in that area and the wildflowers. So I just wanted to update you and uh, show you that I did ultimately get this keyhole garden out. Another project that I'm going to be working on, I'll walk around to the side here. So here we are in the north side of the house. This is the... Uh, the future keyhole herb garden. Uh, I've got to deal with the weeds that are in here. I've got to pour some concrete uh, in here as well for the little keyhole uh, area so I can have easy access to each area of the garden beds. And I've got to kill some of these bindweed uh, plants and some of the other uh, tough, tough ones that are in here. So it may take me a couple weeks before I get back to this. In the meanwhile, I've been working over in the greenhouse and doing the various harvesting around here on site. So there haven't been too many videos coming uh, like I'd like to be able to post one a day to, to show you what what we're up to here on site but right now it's a lot of the stuff is just uh, I'm going out doing quick harvesting in the morning gathering uh, zephyr squash, the broccoli, the cauliflower, the various plants that we need to get in and get processed and then we've got the various berry species and the peaches and plums that we've been making canned goods out of as well. So a lot of it's busy work that's probably not all that interesting. I will end this video with some time-lapse GoPro uh, imaging of what I've been doing here and there'll be a little bit of a GoPro Karma uh, drone shot showing overhead shot of this uh, from before so you should if you, if you want to see geez what it looked like before go to that first link that I put up there in the corner that showed the uh, the keyhole garden failure and you can see the the difference so uh, if this video was a val value give it a thumbs up uh, share it with your friends 
feel free to leave a comment or ask questions. I will try and and have regular uh, comments and question responses uh, regularly. I don't sure how frequent it would be, but depending on how quickly I get them. It's kind of tough for me right now. I'm just running around crazy to type out responses at the ends of the day. It takes me a bit of time just to put these videos together and set things up. But enough complaining on my part. So uh, have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Bye-bye now.